Chief Minister Viren Azad, the state government disagrees with the statement of interlocutor RN Ravi that appears on a national daily. Single largest party in the 11th Manipur Assembly election, Congress meet governors that claim to form government. Former Acting Chief Justice of Jammu and Kashmir, Ramlingan Sudhakar sworn in as the fifth Chief Justice of High Court of Manipur today. And film star Kaiku launches campaigning for the upcoming Lok Sabha election 2019. Hello and welcome to Impact News to watching Primetime English News. I'm Kangzam Shalera with the top stories and latest news at this hour. The government of Manipur has disagreed with a statement made by the interlocutor of peace talk between NEC and IM and Indian government RN Dravi that appeared on the National Daily's Indian Express. Addressing media person at Chief Minister's Secretariat in presence of Cabinet Ministers, Chief Minister Nongtambam Biran asserted that any agenda to disintegrate the state on community line will not be tolerated. The Chief Minister said the Express the press meet was called after an in-depth discussion on RN Ravi's statement to aware the public on the state government stand on the issue. Meanwhile, the chief minister has urged to all stakeholders to bear in mind that the interlocutor had himself stated that before the culmination of the Naga peace talks, all stakeholders will be consulted. Baron also appealed not to create apprehensions to people in the state by highlighting only one-sided declaration of a community. Chief Minister Biren also stated that the BJP leaders at the centre and top officials of the central government were immediately intimated regarding RN Ravi's statement in the national dailies. Responding to Impact News query on the response of the central government, Chief Minister Biren said that the centre has not given any response till date. Biren also said that the memorandum submitted by CSOs yesterday was facts. To the center government, an arrangement is made to send the hard copy as well. State government has a higher authority in the Kangan Balai Kre, the Manipur Gilead, civil society, the press meet the higher Balai Kre, Honorable Prime Minister Medi Maya, the Madudi Karigumba, Saturday, the peace accord, peace talks, solution to the working among the stakeholders in neighboring states, single labor, Mayam Singi, Ayaba, Madi Watana, Gato, Bani Hagana, High Balai Krabanina, Madu maintain the view, final to Equigi, Lady Bur, neighboring among the stakeholders in the Ayaba Yaldunida. Government company the people could push it to Viganu, Adu Madu State Government, Madu, Eko Yabunga Moy, Madu Makatana to Viganu, Hennessy Quaki, I take you to interlocutor Masada Pinapil Tori, Punna Tang, Nagata Puna Lemi, Nagata Port Amanina, Eko Yamka Hena, Community Amu, Matwainu, I read about Swahi Wata, Falaga, Hira Gangaga, the Mother Bida, Apunba, Manipur, one is one Manipur, Tamari Pandam to the Sanction Minas. On the other hand, the chief minister told media person that there is no question of resuffling cabinet ministers of Manipur as of now. Upon being inquired by Impact News regarding movement in demand for implementation of the 7th Central Bay Commission, including Secretariat Service from May 23, Chief Minister Biren responded that the state government also desires implementation of the 7th Bay Commission in Manipur, but all it seeks is some time which is not a year or too long. The Chief Minister urged not to demand a specific date for the time south. Angle may I am the lady where quick difficulties you will be the kind of the financial constraint to be the kind of seven pay commission channel and by the government determined to rate the good of a quick situation financial condition kari kari kitang a quick yang money and the matam kitang pu hyphen you don't mind the issue and appeal to the name was a a do kumba yam na ban strike a the key cannot a vegan who employs in the music wari but how should be one of the go to village with the moon at the university a quick just I don't know if I can't get a job. I don't 
ꯑꯗꯨꯅ ꯌꯥꯔꯒꯗꯤ ꯃꯇꯝꯗꯨ ꯀꯔꯤꯅꯣ ꯀꯃꯥꯏ ꯀꯃꯥꯏꯅ ꯇꯧꯁꯤꯒꯦꯗꯣ ꯇꯥꯟꯅꯕ ꯑꯗꯨꯃꯥꯏꯅ ꯑꯩ ꯑꯄꯤꯜ ꯇꯧꯅꯤꯡꯉꯤ ꯑꯗꯨꯒ ꯑꯩꯈꯣꯏꯒꯤ 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 
BJP Manipur Pradesh has asserted that the less number of Congress seats in the current Dhaka Assembly proved that people no longer desire the Congress party. Addressing media person at BJP office today, spokesperson of BJP Manipur Pradesh, Wangang CH Bizu asserted that Congress party does not have faith in the country's government and parliament. He pointed out that the party created chaos during the recent parliament session, incurring a huge loss of around 132 crore rupees. Bizu said it is no surprise that Congress, the single largest party in the Manipur in the 11th Manipur Legislative Assembly, stake claim to form government in Manipur at the wake of BJP, the single largest majority party, being invited to form Karnataka government. He said the Congress could not provide any necessary documents and signatures while claiming to form the government last year. He added that the Congress party was dismissed on the ground of fork documents and signatures. The BJP spokesperson alleged the Congress of portraying Karnataka's scenario in a bad light to the public. Congress na kunipan kare BJP na kumathai kare aduga mayanto yanto na governor na thokshiman kare na thaijali. Thanga chumdi makwe na. Claim to was a pematanda. Physically, Makuna Utkado, Chesang Soy signature, letter of support, Yarteva, in New Men Kaleno. Adana, my NPP, Karapa, Emily Marie, my physically produced to Gumgide, Adui Matunda, busy business of the candidate, a coin of claim to river, thirty two majority, thirty two member plus one or only. The Maji pull up governor, you want to go pen to Gumgi, Adana Governor, no Hoji, Honorable CM, and be in the Wasaklon given. Former Acting Chief Justice of Jammu and Kashmir, Justice Ram Lingan Sudhakar, sworn in as the fifth Chief Justice of High Court of Manipur today. Governor in charge of Manipur, Professor Jagadish Mukhi, administered the oath of conduct at the ceremony held at the Dabar Hold of Ras Bhavan. Chief Minister Nangtumban Biren, Deputy Chief Minister Y. Joy Kumar, Cabinet Ministers, BJP, MLEs, Opposition Leader Okram Ibobi, former Deputy Chief Minister Gai Khangam, and Congress M MLEs attended the ceremony. It may be recalled that a Supreme Court Collegium recommended Justice R. Sudhakar to be the Chief Justice of the High Court of Manipur on April 27. Renowned Manipuri film actor R.K. Somarendra, popularly known as Kaiku, has started campaigning for the upcoming Lok Sabha election 2019 at his birthplace Thangweban today. Responding to media query on his decision to join politics, Kaiku said that he came across many underprivileged people during his long career of being in Manipuri cinema and that he ventured into politics with hope to help and provide assistance to these people who are residing in remote corners of the state. He maintained that he will fight the election as an independent candidate and bring forth the problems facing the people to the parliament. It may be mentioned that Kaiku had already started campaigning in various regions of the Imphal Valley in view of the 2019 Lok Sabha election. The film star mo ina zay trying pa may ang gusto ba tao zerak pa siya ay no zerak pa ay nsa zero buti na zerak pa para may ang awa ba at hindi zerak pa mo yigi sa sa ting may ang do ay no zum zerak pa da kada do zero ay no ay sa ting ang ang ba sam na sam ang ang do zero sixty percent seventy percent high level politics siya yao ga ay ang ang mo thakta para zay damo to hona ra ga ay lemo ripun si zay kato ga may ang gusto ba tao kaya zerak to zerak pa na na ita the scene na kwaedy maru ina zikla riba ako film argument kila riba isu sing siya Cepatlah, mungkin answer kangri mana untuk kelihatan kangri report masih mandi. Am tu kangri nengah juga nama one aku jesi LP. Nada senjel lebih aku LP ke susu memang je. Masih maru ini masih tahun ini dia hari tu sebab dia hari ini mana masih jam kena ini jam kena senjel ini nengah hari sisi. Ayah hari nanti sini LGP dah lejar mana ada hujan ti. Ayah mayam ke apa matung ini? Ayah perasa ke apa matung ini? Ayah independen doh ini. Ayah hendak kira ayah election jadi fight tau jaga ini kahal. For the first time in Northeast Department of Agriculture Manipur, in collaboration with Northeast Recent Agriculture Marketing Corporation Limited, organized the first e-auction of Chakhao Black Aromatic Rice at the Conference Hall of Agriculture Directorate in Sanjantong. It may be mentioned that black rice was planted in Infault East, Infault West, Tobal and Bisnupur district since 2016-17 under Mission Organic Value Chain Development Northeast Recent Agriculture. 100 Sorry, 1,900 metric tons of black rice was produced last year, even though the quality of produce is reduced due to frequent flood conditions in the state. 
Large number of bidders from Delhi, Kolkata and Assam and seven sellers of the state are taking part in the bidding process where 118.6 metric tons of black rice will be auctioned till 4 this afternoon. ควิกิสกิมซิกิมาคาปอนะเดียควิกิออร์แกนิกซีตาเซียงนะมะกิออร์แกนิกเนี่ยให้บะยาดรีให้ดี 3 <laughs> Akuna three thousand metric ton go body expect away. Adu Hosi Pogari, some natural calamities, Kaya of Tolopana Madam Muraga. Akuigi Zahosi, I'm the round about one thousand eight hundred and fifty metric ton go body, Putokre, Adu Hadaki, Sahi Sigidi, Akia Muklaka, the Sahi, the Hybriding Amdri. Manipur People's Party MPP has alleged the NDA government at the center of trying to Hindustanize the country by trying to pass the Citizen Amendment Bill 2016 to recognize followers of Hinduism, Sikhism, Buddhism, Jainism, Jorostranism and Christianity coming from Afghanistan, Bangladesh and Pakistan as Indian citizens. Addressing media person at MPP office near Imphal Polo Ground today, President of MPP Oinam Jugindro condemned the efforts of the BJP government to pass the Citizen Amendment Bill 2016 in the wake of demand for implementation of an ILP bill in the state. Zugindro said that the concerned bill is an effort of BJP and RSS to convert the country into a Hindu land. He maintained that the bill provides no benefit for minority communities. The president of the MPP reiterated that the said bill will bring plights in the state. MPP assured to strive against such efforts of BJP and RSS. <laughs> ຂົງຈັ່ງມະນີໃຫ້ນາກ້ອຍນະຊັງບ່ຂົງຈັ່ງມະນີໃຫ້ນາ <coughs> All India Forward Bloc Manipur State Committee in a press release informed that Secretary of the Committee Kondram Gyaneshwar has left Imphal to attend a political workshop for left political parties of South Asian countries to be held at Beijing from May 25 to June 3. The said workshop will focus on geopolitical, social, international relations and peace and economic development of South Asian countries. Convener of JCILPS student wing Manjit Sarangtim has asserted that JCILPS along with students organization of other communities in the state to launch intense movement to pressurize the government to implement inner line permit system during the upcoming monsoon assembly session. Speaking to media person at JCILPS office, Manjit stated that the organization and Cookie students organization have agreed upon a joint movement to implement ILPS in the state by holding a meeting on 14th of this month and Pangan Students Organization also has agreed on the same day. He said they will also convene with Naga Student Organization at the earliest. Mandit said that the elegant migrants and workers in the state pose a huge threat to the people and economy of the state. He lauded the government for bursting fake Aadhaar cards, records in the state and also urged to book those involved and award befitting punishment. He termed it unfortunate that police were enabled to arrest it the illegal migrants who fled after committing crime in the state. Hi, everyone, non local sing. We talk Mian Ta sing us in the Nasi, I cook Miam the Birak Libus, I thank sing us. Lamdom sit in the line for Mr. Matrakamasi, Manama Luomok, Lamdom Sigi, Seb Gart, Naklo, Pirakan, the Masibu, Yellow Missing, Naxus, and Zabangam, we never see, and put Miam with Hazazoni, Roman Lakada, and Nuzu, Mipom Dom, and put Langang, Nadumba, Ekama, Luomo, Pass, Tongaba. Lambda Sig Yellow we fruit sing you but upon ba unanimous over collective effort on my quay, Jesse Alpes na Madi Stun Wing na same Sarakan the Equi Tongkal Makagi Kong Sang Sendaba going a see what it lumin is about laser. 
Taking part in the press meet, President of Bangan Student Organization, Muhammad Azizu Rahman, stated that the organization supports JCILPS from before. He maintained that the organization will strive for implementation of ILP in the state. Rahman appealed to the Muslim in the state to use the family names given to them when Manipur was a princely state. He also appealed to the Muslim to not provide rented lodging to individuals with no proper identification documents and to extend support in ILPS movement. Lamdamasida Lairiba, Maiti Fangal Singna, Ningtawaktaki Pibiram Laba, Yumnak Sagai Sing, Mingi Mamang, the Natraka Matunda, Sizina Naba, Afilto Zabagaluena, Maiti Fangana, Namna Kundaleta, Nulabum of Pom Singda, Mito Mian Sassing the Lashenba, Saktak Jayau, the Amadi, Nalo Kel Singna, Lamdamadu Kundaleta, Wigimong the Lairiba Audu, the Henbidan of Amadi, Hairiba, the CLPS Amadi, Pangal Student on Isana. Hari bawa mafum singa tu drive salak bawa amati yang sin berkongsi sengsela pun matam dah. Lambat masih tu lagi bawa mati pangal pelomii orang bawa singa support tu bina bersu pangal studi orang asal amati YCLPS na afil tu uzari. Manipur Student Federation has caught one non-local who acquired his Aadhaar and voter card under a false identity from Kakching Kuno Umatil today. Speaking to media person at its office, Bryce President of MSF Ning Thauzam Jukesor stated that the individual identified as Dilip Das, 40 years from Silchar Jaipur, has been residing at Kakching Kuno Umatil after marrying a woman from the area. He said Dilip Das acquired his voter card under the name of Tingnam Dilip Meite, son of Ibohal from Kakching Kuno Umatil, and obtained his Aadhaar card under the name of Tingnam Dilip Meite, son of Tingnam Yaima from Kakching Umatil, Matak Lekai. Jukesur also stated that Dilip Das won the municipality election from Kakching Kuno 1 No. 4 after being approved by the then Kakching DC in 2011 and that he listed himself in the Sadul Cast category and availed several benefits. He further drew the attention of the state government to take up steps to check the illegal settlement of immigrants in the state. Jugesor also mentioned that the organization, along with other civil society organizations, will initiate steps and conduct drives if the government fails to pay heed. 20 April the order to say talk on a date 24 April 2018 the law department na deputy commissioner order on court way. Nan me day amukhangna. Maki Sagay say, any money put him gay, not a matekunai, Sagay on by say, Lady Ba, Sagay Dugi, Alaman Singa, I didn't sue, the Maki, the Pinia, I didn't sue, the Sagay to own by the Iva say, Falweski, Hogi, Lampelgi, the Sinatop, or the other than the Legerips, Hogi, Nan Mitishina, Hogi Manipuri, Kundariba, Yellow Mishina, Bok Panga, Zakum Mayama, Makoina, Manipuri, Kundasanduna, Manipuri, Zakum Mayama, Matuna, Akui, Manipuri, Singa Riba, I say, Sidi Hoy Langna. Atau mungkin demi yang cembio kecil pes nazu, makah tar na asing bertawa saya, nan meeting na, amadi nan mani puri sini tau begini, hai bawa apa macam saya, aku MSF ke sini kita hamil lagi. Socialist Student Union of Manipur (SSUM) and Proletariat Feminist Movement Manipur (POFM) continue espousing for befitted punishment to perpetrators of crime against women. Representatives of the organization met the alleged victim of moral degradation by BJP MLA Sekmai from Tangwiban, Maisnam Lekai today. The alleged victim expressed that her one-year-old FIR against the MLA is still not taken out for charge sheet till date. She alleged that the chief minister is indifferent to her concerns despite repeated complaints raised during the Miyam Kinumit since the alleged accused is an MLA of the ruling party. She appealed to the relevant authority to file the charge sheet against the MLA and give befitted punishment at the earliest. Pesahasi mungkin nak kau jauh, payah payah kerja lagi kerja itu dan nampak lagi nampak lagi itu mulai dari kau ikut batu pas tiada ada orang bertar di sisi nahana, loi na. Putu oga pab bawa bayar eh, enti sekretari bel oga satu krema gigi dedum pab bawa ngam dress polis tega itu gigi magi support dah loi nalar dress hujik kuding mag, ayi gigi kem tu upai leh teh, ayi hujik ayi punsi je si bengai badu oido nalar hujik teh, kari oido nalar hebat gigi hujik teh punsi je tambangam de, ayi sarsi thagap iba, adu ga ayi na ayi na lalai dana, ayi dum jadi dandi pangsa gigi hebat neba, ayi na pamis eh, mana lalai, mana dandi pangu hebat neba, acum bapu thok piu hebat neba, ayi na hebat de, adu acum bapu bapu thok pi naba tau bide ba, lengak sini nasung tau tau bide ba. Acung bapu thok pi bapu dilayar dan magi oina pampi kerap hujat.
speaking to media person, co convener of SSUM Bushan Longjam demanded ousting of MLA Sekmai from the post of chairperson of Workers' Welfare Board by May 20 for his alleged involvement in degrading moral of a woman. He asserted that crimes against women are on the rise as the government has repeatedly failed to give befitting punishments to perpetrators on time. Bhusan informed that efforts are on to convene an all political party meeting for the second time to discuss on issues related to atrocities against women at Manipur Press Club on May 20. <laughs> ทางไปบลอปุนบนนุปีลุภายบลุปสิกาสัมมินาเรไฮดนาเพรสมีดาสินาควินาเทนะจะคิบาดูยามะไลบักคิบาโตโดอบนีฮาริบาเคสสิก
territorial integrity of the state till their last breath. It may be mentioned that the construction of the road between Maupungdong village and Jugo Valley passing through Mount Iso, the highest peak of Manipu undertaken under PMGSY, has been halted after Nagaland claimed it as their land. Inhabitants of the Mapungdong raised the problems at the reception ceremony of Salai Holdings and Private Limited, Chairman Naringbam Samarzit held at the village yesterday. Speaking on the occasion, ex-member of the District Council, PKEC, stated that even though people of the state pledged to fight and protect the state's territory, people from the state visit Jugo Valley from Nagaland instead of commuting from Manipur. He lamented that there is outside interference in the state's problem due to lack of understanding among the people of the state. Inhabitants of the village further appealed to the state government and concerned authorities to promote tourism in the state by repairing the road at the earliest and to construct rest houses. Akwena nak na lere basu akwe ichinno tampagi ichinno mitesinna khojamada ayamba chale. Ayamba chala ga makwena tax loe makwena amama loe aduga hanna su mantan mantanarengi the tracker singa show conflict amato kebne. Makwe na ashiri akwe ki lamne akwe ki adu adani hebda pepa da makwe na kiri tobra threaten toroga ashi sign to adu adada kon na clarification pirebesu adu akwe kaya nongaiti adu na ya ba makhe di ashida lombi lebne na chapio hebese request ni. Chief guest at the event, Chairman of Salai Holdings and Private Limited and Samarzit, assured the villagers of consulting multi-international companies to make Zugo Valley a tourist destination. He pointed out the need for the government to help in construction of ropeways along the hill law. Samarzit mentioned that if in case the government is unable to provide assistance, Salai Holdings and Private Limited will approach various multinational companies to assist in the same. The chairman of Salai Holdings and Private Limited also assured the villages that the company would purchase annual potato production of the villages to enhance their economy at the wake of lack of proper market from selling their products. Development have a what he has said, but say, a queen of Sarkana, government of development of Pura Kadabani Hayden, a queen of Columbusi, the same as a home to Matotare, Madame de Carino, Hyper Matanda, Nasi Maniputa. Cahi kun gi mamangdat layamba nupa amana after twenty years sa manipuda amud lak matamda mahaki mabmacinda gi akoy na taba pang nivasi ay na tahan ay na cahi kun da layamba tu dagi ngasi yung hong hamdri ay bapoch ni that means there are there is not any development process adun na tapo di development ay bapo fuwa fu masay ay koy gi na sarikada induk tu na thamba ay bapse masay ay koy sa ay koy the Yaozi energy turret ado, Madu Kangatang, on the Chap Managa. Efforts are on under the supervision of the MLA Sugnu constituency to convert the plights brought on by the irregular course of Chakpi River to Cerro Village. Works are underway using heavy machineries to divert the flow of Chakpi River away from Cerro Village. A team comprising of the Water Resource Minister Led Pao Haukip, MLA Sugnu, K. Ranjit, and top officials of the Water Resources Department inspected the site in Sugnu today. Speaking on the site lines, MLA K. Ranjit stated that the water level of Chakpi River rises immensely during monsoon and during its heavy course of flow along Cerro Village. The mighty flow of the river water drains the village, land creating apprehension that the village might be totally drained away in the future. He said considering the plights of the villages, the work was initiated under MLA Local Area Development Fund, pointing their financial as constraint which might hinder the successful completion of the project, the local MLA drew the attention of the Water Resource Minister to offer assistance from the department. <laughs> Kau istirahat pandai raka, kau ketang mati yang pang biraga. Uji kau ini tauri bersimak mesinu pura final sunatri. Sidi hayeng sing isau si lakukan apa pun panah, thabuk si complete tau bunga mudra kadi. Bola pun jalaga atau apa nak kena muda sian gipah ya bersulai. Ya amna mau mungkin tadabat turian ni. Hai tar, ya mau ngau bahai tar. 
Water Resource Minister Ledpal Haukip lauded the initiative undertaken by the Suknu Emily to divert the course of Jakpi River. He mentioned that the new undertaking will prevent the inconvenience caused by frequent flood conditions in Cerro village and the surrounding areas. The minister further assured the local Emily that the department will give their best to provide assistance in the new project. During the visit, the minister inspected Chakpi Tingampai Kacha Dam built over Cerro River providing irrigation to around 800 hectares of paddy fields. The local Emily further appealed to the water resource minister to reconstruct the dam so that it continues to facilitate irrigation in the area for a long period of time. It's a concern of humanity. Masi miyoy pun si Manipur gi praja maya mama kan gada ba kung thang amani masida paykal ay ba turin course hong bagi port si ngasay ano ba yung malayan na panbili ba asi gi akan ba sa pu sila akan da Manipur gi river si gi thom ba kan da mo khalaga mani khalaga som da a mo khalaga wagay da kay da wangoy da kay da iba tawre ibi mayam si masis one of the factor ni adala ako ay department sa itigi su ang amba kay do way agi ado but it may be too early to comment on it now. Cookie Chips Association Technopol District in a press release condemned the state government for issuing transfer order of DC Technopol without any replacement, non instatement of regular SDO, BDO of Technopol, and allocation of only 1 crore rupees fund for the newly established Technopol District when 5 crore rupees each were allocated for other new districts. The association warned of democratic hesitation if the government fails to appoint a DC for the district placed SDO, BDO in the district on regular basis and increased the amount of fund allocation for the district. All Manipur Fisheries Employees Union joined the movement initiated by GAC, AMTUK and MGO in demand for the implementation of the 7th Central Pay Commission in the state. The union stays a sit-in at Inland Fisheries Training Center of the Fisheries Department in Lumfeld today. Taking part in the sit-in, member of the union, T.H. Shusila, stated that the JAC's movement has entered its 58th day today. However, the government still pays no heed to their demand. She further urged the government to withdraw the warrant issued to the core committee members of the JAC. Shusila also stated that the union will continue to support the JAC's movement. Jadi sih na cangsi lagi ba, sabian pi lagi dong. Tapi cangsi lagi ba, kongsang kongsang sih. Fifty eight days sudah bau dah. Gua main nak kari gumbam, tang tapi dah bersih. Aku ay employee sih kita mau ayam nungai jadi apa bau jai. Aduh nak aku ay centren kita sabian pi sih pi kerap ni na. Aku ay mani purgi sih ay na employee sih kita magda sabian pi sih pi bi wana. Aku ay ngasih fisheries department ni ay na. Aku ay fisheries department impan west amasung research ani punjara kita protes tak jawab ni. Aduh gak aku ay जेसी ना चंचल लग बा कुंजन कुदी मंगता सो खोई शरुक जा जगनी अधुगा अखोई की जेसी की कोर कमी थी दा सरकार ने गो वारेन इशू थोई बसी शो मशीन मशीन लोग थोक पियो है ना खोई एम्प्लॉयज़ इनकी तरफ तगी है जरी all Manipur Students Union, AMSU, and Coalition Against Drugs and Alcohol, KADA, jointly organized an anti-drug campaign under the banner Let's Stand Against Substance Abuse at Scholar Academy in Hairangoitong, Imphal, Imphal West District today. The campaign was organized as part of the organization and seizing effort to combat substance abuse in the state, especially among the youth. Vice President of Kada, Ning Thauzum Doran, stated that it is the responsibility of every individual to safeguard the youth, especially the students, the future pillars of the society, from the influence of harmful intoxicants. He also stressed the need to uproot the abuse and circulation of intoxicants in order to envision a better future. Works Minister to his Biswazir in a press release has created the people of Manipur, especially the Muslims, on the occasion of Ramzan, Ramadan, the holy month of fasting for Muslims. He wished that the auspicious month brings peace, prosperity and harmony among the inhabitants of Manipur. Maite Irold Iye Kloina Silon Apunbalub Milant observed the 12th Mayek Chatpanumit, the implementation day of the Maite Mayek at GM Hall today. The event, which began with an opening song by Chingtam Saisak Luft, was attended by Education Minister Tokchom Radishyam, President Milan Tokchom Babulchan, Secretary of Council of Higher Secondary Education Manipur, Dr. Maishnam Pidya Sagar, and Secretary of Board of Secondary Education Manipur, Akam Joykumar, among others. 
Prizes were also distributed to winners of Mighty Mayor competition held on May 6 in connection with the day. It may be mentioned that with Milan's initiative, Mighty Mayor was introduced in the education syllabus for Class 1 and 2 after reaching a resolution with the government of Manipur in 2006. Idamdam Kanba Apunbalub Ekult and Social Upliftment Organization SUO in a press release notified that the annual program entitled June 12th Ikai Kumnazaba will be held on June 12th this year. The organization mentioned that women below 50 years of age with many children and students of government school who secured top 5 positions in the 2018 class 10 and 12th examination will be facilitated on the occasion. The press release further informed individuals who fulfilled the criteria to submit necessary documents before June 5. Director of Manipur Health Services, Dr. K. Razo, launched child delivery through operation facility at Chandal District Hospital today. CS operation was conducted on a pregnant woman and successfully delivered a boy at a district hospital which was inaugurated on May 4 last year. Speaking to media person, Dr. K. Raso mentioned that the CS operation facility was introduced at a hospital as part of the Chief Minister's initiative to bring equal development in both the hills and the valley. Additional Director of Manipur Health Services, H. Ranjit, Medical Superintendent of Chandal District Hospital, Gynecologist of CMO Chandal, Dr. T. Norin, including anesthetist Dr. L. Rosen, attended the launching event. Manipur Lomi Marup in a press release urged the government to initiate construction of the Imphal East District Hospital at Sagolmang at the earliest. The organization mentioned that Sagolmang is the app location for the construction and would benefit inhabitants of Senapati, Kampokpi, Ukrult and especially Imphal East. Manipur Lomi Marup appealed to the government to facilitate dialogues between the parties concerned to bring resolution so that unwanted buns and strike will be done away with. A national seminar on women empowerment and human rights, special reference to Northeast, was held at the court hall of Manipur University today. Speaking at the seminar, jointly organized by National Human Rights Commission, NHRC, India and Manipur University, member of NHRC, Jyotika, highlighted the plights of the women in the society. She said women are usually assigned the role of looking after household choirs and if the woman is carried oriented, Career-oriented, society assumes that she has traded the welfare of her family. Jyotika asserted that welfare of her family necessitates welfare of the women members and their equal contributions. Joint Director NHRC Muni Dev Singh Tiagi and Vice Chancellor Manipur University Professor Adhya Prasad Pandey were among those who attended the seminar. There are two words in this topic, empowerment women. I say, I mean, how do you define a woman? How do you distinguish a woman from a man? There are some, to my understanding, there are some additional features a woman has, which the man don't. So those additional features are again not a residuary feature or not a, not a supplementary or subjudice features. Those features are the most important features for this human race. Information and Publicity Secretary, member in charge of proscribed outfit, Kangli Park Communist Party, KCP, in a press release, informed that the biannual journal of the outfit entitled Lanting Minasi has been published for this summer. The party also appealed the public to read the journal comprising of nine chapters. A community awareness program on disaster management for police personnel was conducted by 12 Battalion National Disaster Response Force team on SP Campus, Bisnupur District Headquarters today. The team gave demonstrations on preventive measures and disaster management as well as health and interaction program. Taking part in the event, SP Yogesh Chandra highlighted the significance of such awareness for police personnel to enable them to take necessary measures in times of calam calamities. 
He lauded the team for conducting such awareness program considering that Manipur is an earthquake prone joint and that Bisnupur district comprising mainly of hilly terrain with many lakes being prone to floods. Inspector 12 Battalion and the RF Akes Kumar and SDPO Binoy Chongtam were among those present on the occasion. The 12 Battalion assured of conducting similar awareness programs in various other parts of Manipur in the future. Akhoji districts the leiba new singa any disaster lakho matam da we police we are the first responder police say akhoji yahan na akhoji do jawo do ne adu ga sagi adu ki first initial six hours da how to save the life first of all life is the most important new biki punsi madai da leiba madu kamai na koi na kan gadagi hai madu ki noi na kang da mamayam do when the disaster response ki to do por mayam do kang da mayam do madu ta madu mag da. National Disaster Response Force team just lag up with that. Like what police personnel saying, please try to learn and know everything whatever they teach you. Sunusifai Farmers Club in a press release has informed that the first state level Iru Hai Kumhai Watermelon Festival will be held for five days from May 27 to 31 at Sunusifai Marketplace. The club stated that the organizers. Sunusifai Farmers Club and Ideal Mothers Association aim to at selling over 300 metric tons of Hai Iru watermelon, cucumber, pumpkin and gouts during the festival. The club also notified interest farmers to obtain details from the club. Before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Chief Minister Biren says the state government disagrees with the statement of interlocutor R.N. Ravi that appeared on the National Delhi. Single largest party in 11th Manipur Assembly Election Congress meet governor state claim to form government. Former acting Chief Justice of Jammu and Kashmir Ramlingan Sudakar sworn in as the fifth Chief Justice of High Court of Manipur today. And film star Kaiku launches campaigning for the upcoming Lok Sabha election 2019. 